Then we can play actually also clean with chords. Because once we have that clean, this of course you need to. If you're interested to learn this well, you need to join the course in Skype because they're personally they can explain you personally how to, how you can do it uh, step by step gradually and get it right. Otherwise, this by just watching videos <laughs> cannot be because. Uh, you cannot confirm if what you are practicing is right or not. And also because we record the, the homeworks, these things should be, of course, private videos. This is not a public video, but a listed or private video of you playing it, stuff with the metronome counting, etc. And then with that, you can objectively see from outside, as if this guy is another person playing, then you can objectively see it, and then I comment it. In the Skype, I can tell you the feedback about it, how it's done, or what is needed. You need to keep to be able to play at least five minutes of this rhythm right, like a four or five minutes steady without mistakes, playing properly the accents, pulling back with the volume of each note, how it is, counting and not counting. And then once you do that, and now you are at that speed, objectively, that has to be proven by recording the video, not by thinking, yeah, I guess I have it, no, it has to be factual proof, right? So then we can, now, no, once we have that, now we can put the chords, this is the fun part.
So that is how you sound say, with some basic chords, uh, seven chords there, C minor, A7, D, G7, C, A minor, so B flat, B7 flat 9. And then with the, with the counting also same, of course to come here we need to also practice it, counting. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.